And we are live. Welcome everyone to the 2023 spring edition of the Canadian Classical between FC Berlin. As we were saying, 2023 spring edition of the Canadian Classical contested between Berlin and Chantilly Forever. A big fixture here in the P UPSL. Both teams looking for three points. Berlin starting their season off. Almada is already away here. He's in. Mickey around the box. Has a shot. Poised across. Oh, that was intended. I believe for Brett Springer. He cannot get on the end of it. It's going to be a goal kick here. Emilio plays back. Berlin looking to start off. There's a foul here in the middle. It's Chantilly's ball. Chantilly playing with three in the back with possession. Playing very interesting formation. Working through the lines here. Good clearance. Could be Chantilly ball. That was cleared away by Josh Oaks. Looks like it's going to be a corner here. Ball's in. It goes back post. Goy comes up to claim it. Falls. Nothing on it. Finally claimed. And Berlin looks to go forward here. Ball playing in the middle of Ma Andre. Springer. Springer. Looks to chip the keeper. Can't get anything on it. And a skewed opportunity for Ma Andre. Ball was worked through way too easily there for Berlin. Easy one, two, and Brett Springer was away. Was not clinical and couldn't bury his shot. Chantilly looks to find little momentum like they've 
just given away. Castro, Linares. Linares being a regular feature in Berlin teams, playing through all levels, such as U21, appearing in the PISL, as well as playing in the UPSL program as well. Getting lots of playing time. Castro gives up a foul. It's going to be Chantilly ball here. Long ball played in here. Ariel's lost and Luke Ewan. Brett Springer in behind. Takes a touch and stripped away. Some great defending. Asimovic plays in the Springer. Springer. A bit of a lazy strike from Springer, not playing to his normal abilities. Ball played wide. Asimovic with the interception. Muhammad with the throw in here. Emilio couldn't find the intended player. Perrin played through. It's a decent ball. Ewan claims. Berlin going long once again, having a lot of success with that ball in behind. Chantilly playing a high line. Brett Springer is offside. Chantilly having a few problems in the back here. Goes out for a corner. Bubble to be delivered in here. Not a bad corner, it's back post. Oaks. And it's claimed. until they get forward here. Perrin on the ball. That's Mohammed. Looking for an option and plays Perrin in the middle of the park. A good step by Camilo Castro. One back, Mohammed on the ball once again for Chantilly. And they give up a foul. Chantilly ball here, around 30 yards out. They will have an opportunity here to deliver a ball in the box. They've been they've been given some set pieces here early on. Haven't been able to capitalize just yet. Ball's in, goes back post, headed away. Almada touches the passes defender, tries to keep it in here. Can he do so? Ball's still in play. And it's finally called out. Ball worked out to the other side of the field. Ball played forward. It's a good ball. Asimovic recovering well. 
dueling, battling. Chantilly ball in. Cleared away. Perrin. Emilio wins it for Berlin. And eventually cleared away. And tenant for Springer. They can't get onto it. Muhammad on the ball, not for Chantilly. Played forward. Another good ball in. Marina has played that ball. Mohammed on the ball. Closed down quickly. Perrin. Perrin plays it off. Mohammed on the ball. Once again, look, gets his head up, puts the ball in. Ewan claims it. Rather routine for him. Plays out quickly. Linares now. Springer. Almada. It's promising here for Berlin. Almada. Plays across. A ball skips through. Oh! Andre hits the crossbar. Ball bats here on. Handball goes the other way. A waste opportunity for Berlin once again. They have to be more clinical. Andre missing a sitter. Another disappointing miss for him. Berlin strikers can't put the ball into the back of that at the moment. It's a bit worrying. Long ball played. Berlin win another aerial. Linares playing well. Andre plays the ball, loses it. It's Perrin now. Almada. Andre, Almada. Emilio. Linares. Linares looks up. Gets the ball in. Three players there. None of them can get on the end of it. Another disappointing attack. Berlin finding... The space in between the gaps, finding the space out wide, just not being able to find that final action and that final touch to put them up in this game. Muhammad once again the ball for Chantilly. Asimovic with the interception. Springer now fouled. And Berlin gonna have a dead ball here, just around 40 yards out. Uh, they're not committing too many players forward. They look like they may commit a few bodies. See what they can get. Ball in, and it's just too pinned into the center there. Long ball, a good touch. Chantilly's in here. What can they do? Places it across. A big interception. And it looks like it's going to be a corner here. Chantilly finding success on the counterattack. Rio Janeiro uh, causing lots of problems down that left flank for Berlin. In the first half here, lots of chances, just failing to get that final decisive touch on it. Ball into the box, there seems to be some sort of infraction, a little push in the back perhaps. And Berlin now have the ball. Just past half here, Springer holds the ball up. A few kicks in the ankle, tries to get a pass off, complains to the ref, asks as a Sure, pull ref. Nothing from the ref though. Chantilly once again finds success on the counterattack. Ewan comes out and claims the ball. Ewan doing a great job of commanding the box. Castro on it now. Emilio. Linares. Asimovic telling the coach to play four instead of three in the back. Ball in. It's not great. Finds his way out to Castro. A big challenge, that one's late. They're gonna play on. Could be a yellow card. 
Ball's in. Another poor cross. Berlin doing a good job of recovering and reacting quickly in the transition. And Israel Perrin is finally booked for his earlier offense on Camilo Castro. Ball played out wide. Linares looking to get a ball in here. It's in. Cleared away. On top of the box, Perrin can't clear it. Advantage played. And Berlin gets a foul. Challenge on Almada. Clearly feeling the effects of that challenge. Now, if you've been a longtime FC Berlin supporter, you know that. Santiago Amada and referees maybe don't have the best relationship, so him getting a call is something of an achievement to him. Previously mentioned Amada and Castro standing over this dead ball around 35-0. They play short. Andre It's going to go for a corner load deflection there, it seems. Ball's in. Asimovic shanked over. Both teams having their respective uh, opportunities here in the first half. Neither team really able to make much of those chances or be clinical. Advantage played on, and Chantilly, foul, late challenge by Almada. As previously mentioned, not a great relationship with the refs. Chantilly ball here, a shot, an ambitious effort. Marina's with the opportunity there to some scrutiny of the Chantilly coach. A little upset with the attempt. Urge to slow down and play their brand of football. Which, ironically, in that situation was not what they've been doing in this match. So, interesting. Another call in the middle here. Berlin win a free kick. A little nudge in the back. Berlin having some success down the left flank this half. They've identified a weakness. The ball is in. Goy claims it. Flores plays it up. Oaks plays in the middle. Emilio dispossessed. Foul given for Chantilly Castro, the guilty party. Lots of physicality in this fixture so far.
Ball's in here. Claim by Ewan. Springer in pursuit. Gets a touch. Dispossessed. Linares once again on the ball. Ball played through a Springer. Knocked off to Andre. Play across. Big deflection. Player falls. Advantage played. Perrin has the ball still. No advantage from the previous play. Ball bobbles after a Springer shot. Asimovic can't get on it. Mohamed under some pressure here. A big challenge from Amada. Oh, it seemed like a pretty fair challenge to me. And as previously mentioned, Santiago Mata once again in trouble with the refs. He is now on a yellow card. Is there any greater duo than Santiago Amada and gang cards? I don't think so. Malandre intercepts. Has some time here to make a decision. Plays a ball in. Amada, oh, excuse it. Could have made better of the opportunity. Playing a little risky on a yellow card here. It's just not his DNA to really give in. Gives up on the challenge knowing he has to play a little bit more timid, a little bit more cautious. Milio Castro. Ball into Andre. Intercepted. Nice movement by Chantilly here. Nicely defended by Josh Oaks. Ball played forward a little bit of a weak ball. Wasn't dealt with in a great manner. Which allows Chantilly to be in here. Balls are going to go up for a corner it seems. And it's a goal kick. Ball makes its way past half. Dispossessed. Tahiri. Perrin. Shipping on the ball. Can't get the ball with his feet. A shot. It goes three. That was Shariki. Poor goal kick from Ewan. Allows Chantilly to get in. Dispossessed by Lenara is playing very well in this first half. Ball play in behind. Brett Springer is going to be called offside. His second offside of the game, I believe. Ball in, play a little long. Ewan gonna collect here. Both teams playing frantically. Both teams understand the stakes and the importance of this fixture. Both teams with aspirations ultimately bigger than this game. And this game is 
very important for those aforementioned aspirations in this league. Berlin undefeated up until this point, looking to carry on that undefeated streak and the win streak as well. Not even just undefeated. They're on full points as of now. Castro goes over. And it's going to be a foul here for Berlin. Players starting to settle into a little bit of frustration. Things not going the way both teams want up to this point. Both teams still looking to break the deadlock. It's a good ball to Asimovic. Looking for some options here on the right flank. Tries to beat his man. Dribbles into the box. What can he find? Knocked on. It's a good shot. And it's saved. That was Linares. Couldn't put the finishing touches on it. It was a venomous strike. Cannot find the back on that though. Oh, Berlin could be in some trouble here. This cleared away. Ball through Springer. And he loses the foot race to Flores. Ball to Mohamed now. Both teams playing frantic. Almada on it now. Dispossessed. Uh, good work from Josh Oaks. Such an integral part of that Berlin back line so far in this first half. Castro to Asimovic. Asimovic playing a 1-2 to Almada. Asimovic asking for a little bit of an infraction call not given. Ball back to Flores. Flores looking for some options down the field. Another poor uh, some bad distribution from Flores thus far. You'd expect a goalie at this level to be a little bit more experienced, a little more quality. You'd expect them to be able to uh, dish out some nice passes downfield, but Flores has, for the most part, been unable to do that. Ewan has had his struggles too, a time or so. Ball bouncing around. Takes a big touch and it's going to be a corner here for Chantilly. Ball's in here. Ewan claims. Definitely commands his box. Ball's in. Can't find Springer. Some loose touches in the middle. Berlin come up with it. Castro plays in the Springer. Ball bouncing around. Springer still has it. Plays the ball across. Ball goes out. A little, another waste opportunity for Berlin. Both teams still not able to find anything yet. It's been a rather disappointing return on the chances that have been had in this first half. Definitely something to be said about these opportunities going goalless. Flores got that one in the air. Ball making it past half. Andre. Milio. Plays it forward to Asimovic. Asimovic has a shot. Deflected. Flores claims. Flores. Finally sending a good ball in. A little bit of trouble. Ultimately cleared away by Carey. Springer. Almada. Could it be? And he plays it wide. Another chance. Not capitalized. Almada won't forget about that one soon. An opportunity to go up 1-0. A nice interception by Carey. That's a foul. Andre, 
Ball played long. Cleared away. Perrin on it now. Looking for some options. Plays in the middle of the park. They can't find anything. Linares plays to Andre. They lose possession. Chantilly has it now. They've somewhat struggled in this match to really build through the lines and find those key plays where they hold possession and really work through their progressions. But they've grown into this game, evolving from a team in the first 10 minutes who are purely just looking on the counter to a team who are trying to play their own brand of football and really get into this game in a more prominent way but they've once again not succeeded in that mission. Berlin once again having it here. They play long. Tenor for Amada, he loses the duel. Ball bouncing past to half. Chantilly, they're in here. A big challenge. Play on, it seems to be a good challenge. Perrin, Milio wins the ball, it's gonna be a corner. Calls a foul. Rujanira asking for a foul. Definitely could have went either way. Definitely up to the interpretation of the referee. Not the best angle here from the commentary booth. Corner here for Chantilly. Difficult ball. Both teams fighting for the ball here on the far side. Perrin has the ball now. Chantilly throws the ball. Interception. Almada. Ball goes out. It's going to be Chantilly ball. Mohamed. Rio Janeiro has a shot and a routine stop for Luke Ewan. Linares on the ball here on the far side. Ball played forward. That one's Almada on the ball now. Looking for something, can't find anything. Tries to play back to Linares, gets a little too cute with it. Loses possession. Perrin plays forward. Bromfield plays back. Chantilly with the throw on the far side. Chantilly playing back. Cleared away by Flores. Oaks clears. Acker back, attempt in the air. Emilio with the ball, plays forward to Springer. Back for Emilio, played forward to Springer. Springer tries to work it on. Claims for a little bit of a kick. Nothing there. Ball play out to Mohamed. He looks forward. Rujanerwa, he's been a problem. Plays in the middle to Perrin. Bromfield. Chantilly finally in this game. Asimovic at the back post. Clears, gets rid of it. It's going to go out for a throw in here on the far side. Bromfield, Mohamed. Mohamed. It's not a throw in here for Chantilly. Bromfield. Perrin has a shot. Spilled by Ewan. Ultimately collected. Another routine save. Chantilly finally growing into this game, getting their own opportunities. Not just through the counterattack, but through their own hard work, breaking through the lines, finding the space and stringing some passes together. Another yellow card given. 
I don't know who to. There was a sea of players there. Foul here. Looks like another card to be issued. That's the fourth card of the game. Cards appearing at just any time here. You'd assume that it was someone's birthday. Ball in here for Chantilly. Oh, a nice acrobatic strike from Perrin. Can't ultimately find the net, but a rather ambitious effort. It's good to see the flair and the creativity from players. Uh, lots of pundits and people of influence around the world saying that football has become too robotic too mechanical, too technical. And it's good to see that creativity, that life being brought into the game from time to time. Mistake in the back. Springer's through. Chips the keeper, can't get anything on it. It's cleared away, it's gonna be a... Ball goes out, it's gonna be a throw in. Ball's in here, they play quickly. Asimovic, Castro, touch, tries to get the ball in, it's blocked. Good interception by Josh Oaks. Almada gets his head up, gets the ball in the box. Can't find anyone, it's gonna be a corner, played out. As we're coming up on half here in a few minutes. An interesting first half in all dimensions. It's worth a mention that Berlin have gone with several chances in the first half here without being able to find the back of the net. Rather disappointing from them. Just not being able to find the final touch. Milio plays back wide to Linares. Linares, balls in, and it goes way too long, and another ball wasted by Berlin. A disappointing half uh, for both teams, you could say. Berlin really just not utilizing their opportunities, not being clinical enough. Perrin with a little black back heel flick and ten for Bromfield, nothing on it though. Berlin win the ball back, Camilo Castro on the ball here. Ewan clears it, does not go far. Perrin. Ball goes out. Ball's in here. And it goes out for a goal kick.
A good challenge by Muhammad. Driving forward down the left flank here. Asimo is trying to recover. A little shove in the back. It's going to be a foul. Berlin players complain, but seem to be a challenge really down to the interpretation of the referee. Yes, it seemed to be shoulder to shoulder, but no real attempt to win the ball or anything of that nature. Morley just playing the player and not the ball in a dangerous area. A reasonable foul call from the referee. Muhammad to deliver for Chantilly. A routine save and just another disappointing set piece for Chantilly. Disappointing end results for both teams at each half of the field. Chantilly not making much of their multiple set piece opportunities while Berlin have had multiple chances in open play and just haven't been able to capitalize. Both teams who go into half rather unsatisfied with the events of the first 45. A ball in. Put across. Oh, it just goes wide. Berlin almost caught out there. That was Wedderburn with the strike. He's been active this first half. Ewan plays. Flores, a good pick out, even if he maybe didn't intend it, as it seemed, he struck the ball maybe a bit wrong. Asimovic tries to step in. A good turn by Mohamed. A good challenge from Asimovic. Oaks deals with it. Castro falls. That's going to be a foul here for Berlin. Berlin looking to maybe play quickly. Emilio Linares. Linares causing all types of problems down that left flank. A player with great ability on the ball. A very technical player, very fast and agile. He wins a foul here on the far side, probably his second or third foul one, just from his ability to slip in a space in between players. Ball about to be delivered in here. I believe Santiago Almada stands over the dead ball. Ball's in. And time for Brett Springer. Just can't get there in time. Flores plays long. Carey plays it away. Ball kept in by Chantilly. In the box here at the byline. And that's going to be a goal kick. A ball don't lie moment. Ball potentially was out on the near sideline here and then goes out for a goal kick. Everything repays itself in just a matter of time. Even though those little decisions can make a big difference in those in these games. Ewan plays long and time for Asimovic. Can't win it. They win the they win the free kick. Not free kick, my apologies for the throw in. Andre. Good touch in the space here. Almada. Asimovic. Perrin wins the ball. Andre. Santiago Almada is in. Plays across. No one there. Play up for a corner. Another ball in. Another ball not hunted by the Strikers of Berlin.
all the right decisions from Berlin up until the point of the 18. They play across multiple times in this first half and can't find anything. Linares, and it's a goal! A quick goal there. Quick action off the corner. A goal, I believe, from Nico Linares. Number nine, Nico Linares, the left wing back. A quick action off the corner, catching Chantilly's defense a little off guard. Berlin lead 1-0, and it's a very crucial goal, getting that goal just before halftime. Shifting the momentum and changing the dynamic going into the second half. Oaks clears the ball away, been so solid in this first half. Asimovic onto the ball now, has some time and space here to make a decision. Mohamed plays the ball out. And that's about to be halftime here. Whistle in the mouth of the referee. One last attack perhaps for Berlin on the far side in a scoring position here in the final third, potentially. They're gonna play on. One by Chantilly. Ball bouncing around. Ball's out. Andre getting a little too cute with it. Ball bouncing around. Andre tries to play Almada or Lanares. Can't find either one. Wedderburn takes a touch with his hand. No call. And Ewan claims it. It appeared that he may have. There might have been a handball there to aid his attack. They couldn't find anything. That's going to be halftime. It is 1-0. Courtesy of a Nico Linares goal. Could be plenty more for either team, really. Both teams with tons of opportunities in the first half. And we'll see how both teams adjust in the second half. We'll be back to you with the second half of the Canadian Classico in a few moments.
back with the second half here off and away three substitutions here for Berlin to start the second half both strikers being reassigned Antonio Hekomovic is on Ian Bertoli in the back line is also on Hekomovic is joined by Daniel Karaip. A player down for Chantilly. Physio coming on the field now, early in the second half, just seconds in. Just to recap, if you're just joining now, Aiden Bertoli, Daniel Karaip, and Antonio Hekomovic on for Berlin. Santiago Amada, Springer, and I believe Carey off. My apologies, not Carey. Matt Andre. A change of shape here for Berlin in the second half. Looks like they're going more to 
a 4-2-3-1. Looking to control the ball more. More saw back line. Had some troubles in behind on the wings. They like to put their fullbacks high up and would be vulnerable to those balls in behind. Lanares, first half goal scorer. Perrin wins the ball. Plays wide to Mohammed. Ball played forward, can't get anything on it. Hekomovic plays the ball forward to Karaip. He's on the end of it here. Hekomovic. Oh, I just can't get on to the end of it. Ball play across the back line. Chantilly looking to get forward. Decent press from Berlin. Not good enough. Intercepted here. A little bit of a foul call here. Ball in. Castro clears. Hekamovic holding the play up here. Asim Asimovic. Castro. Travella pass. Intercepted. Intended for Kripe. Foul here for Chantilly, still down 1-0, looking to find the equalizer in the second half. They grew into the game in the first half. Ball in. Could be a problem, ball bouncing around. And they've equalized, it's 1-1. Shariki with the goal and it's 1-1 now. And Aaron in the back. Could be pinned on Ewan, could be pinned on the back line, not dealing with the ball in. Regardless of who you blame, you can point the finger at anyone, but it will still be 1-1. A massive, massive goal for Chantilly. The home crowd revives back into this game. Berlin getting on the front for early here after the goal. Ball goes back post. Linares is on the ball. No one there to help him. Not a lot of options. He is a crafty player. Winning the ball back here. Surging into the box. A big challenge. Give me Berlin ball here on the far on the near side. Castro, Hakimovic, tried to play a ball in, couldn't get through Perrin. Ball goes way over. Ball bounce between teams as Bertoli on the ball. Asimovic. Castro plays wide to Linares. Linares. 
Tries to play it through to Asimovic. Can't get there. Wetterburn. He might be in here. Tries to keep the ball in. It's going to be a goal kick. Ball played up here. Goal scorer. Shariki plays for to Bromfield. Can't get through. If you're just tuning in now, Chantilly have equalized and it's now 1 1. The game is back to square one in terms of score line. But in terms of momentum, it's really up to anyone here to take the game by the horns and really find something here. Ball's in. Emilio tries to play to Kareep. Kareep. Battling for the ball. Hekamovic with some space and time here. Plays the ball forward. Asimovic. Hekamovic. Stop from the keeper. Cleared away. A strong save from Flores. Making sure to clear his lines. Kareep. Hekamovic. That's going to be a foul going the way of Chantilly. Hekimovic playing with the hands a little too much for the referee's liking. Ball played long. Bertoli wins a header. Chantilly ultimately wins the ball in a throw in here on the far side. Asimovic plays the ball forward and tenor for Linares. Can't get on the end of it. Asimovic put out of bounds. Berlin's ball here. Castro dispossessed. Perrin. Bromfields. Rijanarwa, a good move there. Can't get anything on it. Eventually dealt with. Ball played forward. Hekamovic can't get on the end of it. Berlin a little disconnected here. Only four players in pursuits. Disconnected from the rest of the side who looked on. Hekamovic, Karip, Milio can't keep the ball. Perrin dancing around, looking for a partner. He finds one, plays it off. Shariki plays the ball intended for Wedderburn, can't get on it, ball bouncing around, Chantilly with that half, Mohammed. Perrin, on the ball, on the far side. Reginarwa on the far side here, Mohammed. Berlin backed into a corner here. 
A foul for Berlin. Chantilly a little bit too eager in their pursuit to win the ball half the field. Berlin, once again looking to get forward. They play another long ball. Berlin just ever since their substitutions, they've just looked to be the inferior team. Playing on the back foot, not really playing to their best abilities here. Seeming disconnected as a team. Not having the success they had in the first half, moving the ball further up the pitch. Ekamovic dancing. Through the players, Hakamovic could be in here. Hakamovic, and that's 2 1. Antonio Hakamovic, he does it by himself, and he makes it 2 1 for FC Berlin. Foul here. Just getting restarted after Hekimovic. A beautiful little solo run from him. Ball played long and tenant for the goal scorer Hekimovic. Doesn't find his forehead. Her in. Two one here for the boys in blue. Los Chicos, as they're more commonly known around the world, finding a second goal courtesy of Antonio Hekimovic. Berlin entering this game undefeated. Perfect record coming into the game. Looking to continue that. Up to this point, hey, that's a, an interesting call by the referee. Karip caught up in a challenge, not even having the ball. He's not ready. He's not ready. You got the paper? He's not ready. There's no paperwork. Let's go. Linares wins the ball here. First goal scorer for Berlin, Daniel Karip. Karip has the ball here. Galloping down the left side. Knocks the ball through. Plays it. Nothing there. Claimed by Flores. An impending substitution here for Chantilly. Big challenge. Chantilly stole the ball. Substitution here for Berlin as well in the upcoming seconds. Coming on for Chantilly is Ibrahimi and Berlin's finest, Nico Giannopoulos, also set to make an appearance here. Milio wins the ball. Linares, Castro, Milio. 
Linares once again. Emilio plays the ball in for Hekimovic. Almost had his second. That's going to be a corner. A last ditch effort to win the ball there. Corner here for Berlin. Camilo gives a signal from post corner. They couldn't get on the end of it. Chantilly looked to counter here. Oh, great move. Ball played across. A little bit of a wasteful pass. Lenares clears. Looking to find Hekomovic. Once again, finding him. He's been a danger man this half. In some space. Played off. Asimovic plays across. There's no one there. And Perrin skips past his defender. Dribbling into a, an abundance of space here. Play, ball played through. Intent for Bromfield cannot get through to his intended targets. Ewan about to play out here. Ball played through. Asimovic was in pursuit, couldn't get on the end of it. Ball still in here. Ball being played out for a corner. Both substitutes coming in. Double substitution here. Phil Milio coming out for Berlin. Nico Giannopoulos in the game now for Berlin. This is my son, he goes, Dad, I can't see you, you're too short. <laughs> You gotta get out there and play. You gotta get out there and play. Perrin on the ball now. Chant Chantilly scoring an equalizer earlier in the game to make it 1 1. Seems off or not now. They once again are playing from behind. Karif intercepts here. Up the field in a vulnerable position. Hekamovic. Gets a shot off, it's called offside. Ball in here. Balls in. Asimovic. Shot on. That's three. Oh, 
Nico Ginopoulos. It's not 3 1. A great strike for Nico Janopoulos. Nico Janopoulos in some space here, looking to find a fourth. Dispossessed here. Castro plays it up. Asimovic could be on here. Kareep tries to chip the keeper. He can't get onto it. Oh, can he? A big collision goes away for Chantilly. And the Chantilly man comes up a little worse for wear in the 50 50 there. Two substitutions coming in here for Chantilly in a second. Chantilly play forward, cleared away by Oaks. Giannopoulos with a heavy touch. A big challenge. Both teams fighting for the ball here on the far side. Substitutions for both teams here. Alex Christie set to make an appearance. Hola. We're gonna go, eh? Long ball played in. A little bit of an unorthodox clearance. Not out of the fray here. Ball played up. It's gonna go up for a goal kick. Substitutions being made here. Camilo Castro has seen his final bit of action here, being withdrawn for Alex Christie. Two substitutions here for Chantilly as well. Ball played long. Hekomovic getting out of the spot quickly. Trying to run away from a possible yellow card. Ball played long. A dangerous ball, similar to the first one. From the first goal, sprayed out quickly. Lenares. Ball played forward. Giannopoulos was on the end of it. Couldn't get it. Berlin once again finding their shape. They fall into their 4 1 2 2. It seems to be playing a diamond in the middle. Playing with a six and a ten and wide operating midfielders. Another substitution here for Chantilly. Looking to find something in the last 20 to 15 minutes here.
Three one for the visitors here. Berlin finally finding their defensive identity in the second half. Doing well with Chantilly's advancements. Christie plays the ball through to Kareep. It's a good ball. Takes a touch. Hits a crossbar. It was a great shot. Still not out of the woods here. Chantilly finally get rid. Berlin back line a little shaky with these clearances. A great step by Linares to get back and win the ball. Great job by Giannopoulos. Trev Lewis with an appearance here. Asimovic being withdrawn. A great game from him. Playing multiple different roles and filling in nicely to both of them. Player down for Chantilly. Delaying the substitution here. in the back here. Carey to Christie. Hekomovic. Giannopoulos. Giannopoulos still on the ball now. Plays wide. A great ball by Sean. Carey to Sean. Perrin. Interception. A great challenge by Carey. Plays in the middle of Giannopoulos, has a boatload of time and space. Plays wide to Trev Lewis. New substitution here. Chantilly can't get anything going forward at the moment. An interesting ball from Carey. Can't get to his recipients. Nico and Sean looking to defend that. Cleared away by Carey. Chantilly, a strike. And just goes wide. Appealing for him, ball. They played advantage. That was from Ibrahimi. Possibly could have had a foul and free kick if they didn't choose to play on, but... They did, and thus not getting the free kick. One thing has led to another in this game, and we set 3-1 for FC Berlin with around 15 minutes left in this game. Possibly closer to 10 at the moment. Hekomovic. Through ball to Trev Lewis. Trev Lewis shoots. Skews it wide. Trev Lewis a little far from home. Playing on the right flank. Drifting into the middle. Taking a touch and trying to pick out a corner. Didn't work. Chantilly still having trouble trying to break down. 
the defensive shape that Berlin has, playing a diamond, contracting in when not having the ball and really squeezing those midfielders in and trying to win the ball for themselves. Seems to have worked to great effect for most of this second half after the first 10-ish minutes. Chantilly searching for a second. They could possibly find it here. It's intercepted by Christy Kareep. Then take a look. Ball bounce around between teams. Hekimovic has some time, plays the ball to Linares. A great touch from Linares, looking to cause some trouble. Linares, ball in. Kareep. Oh, my apologies, that was Trev Lewis. Kareep was supporting Linares. Trev Lewis drifting in from the right wing, getting ahead on it. My apologies once again. Carey, who's been a great addition to the Berlin back line this season. Kareep won the header, could not find the Berlin man. Chantilly, they have a shot, oh, takes the deflection, it's offside. It wouldn't have counted if it went in anyways. A substitution here, Nicolo Nares withdrawn for Landon, Landon Payton. A great display from Nicolo Nares scoring a goal and being a force to be reckoned with on the left flank the whole game. Definitely a difference maker in this one. Hekimovic with a good touch off the chest. Plays back to Sean. And 10 for Hekimovic. A little weak. He won it. Kareep wins the ball. Hop to fields. Plays Chev Lewis. Lewis. Plays across. Cannot find Kareep. A heavy pass from Nico Ginopoulos. Getting deeper into the game where regardless if you're a sub or not, the fatigue starts to set in. You get a little bit more complacence. Those mistakes are made. Chantilly on the edge of the box looking for something. Perrin now looking for an inch of space. Can't get any. Perrin, no one stepping on Perrin, gets a ball in back post, a jump on the shoulders, and it's a foul for Berlin. Christy Tress intercept Israel Perrin, who's been very active in this game, a key part of this Chantilly team. Still trying to impact and change the result of this game. Still down 3-1, getting closer to the end of this fixture. Chantilly running out of time. Last fall. The first Canadian Classico was played and Berlin came out 4-1 victors. Could be another 4-1 here if Berlin score again. It's been back and forth game, but Berlin has gotten the better of Chantilly and looked to be the dominant team for more of this game than Chantilly ever did. And if the results keep coming in like this at the Canadian Classico, Chantilly could forever be in Berlin's shadow.
A big scream from Perrin. Could be an injury here. Or could be a good display of acting. We'll have yet to see. Seems to be actually hurt. Seems to be in quite some discomfort here, regardless of the theatrics. Opportunity here for Chantilly to cut the deficit in half. Nothing on it. Giannopoulos tries to get rid here. Chantilly still looking to get forward. A great move there. And Valdez with a great move there on the far side, Diego Valdez. Chantilly. Getting a little antsy and desperate. Searching. Trying to find that goal to bring them back into this game and give them life. A, played, a ball played a little behind. Payton keeps the ball in. A great effort from him. Hekimovic back to Payton. Payton overhits it. Looks like it went through the uprights. I guess you could say that Berlin up up 6-1 now for all those watching the other football ball being played in as we come to the end of the game here a big shout out to all the fans watching in person and on stream we appreciate all your support whether you support Chantilly Berlin a neutral a rival coach in the UPSL watching this game. Whoever you are, we appreciate all your support. Another big thank you to all the officials and the referees making these games happen. We love this beautiful game, and without you, this game would not be complete. Chantilly have the ball here in their third of the field. Looking to get something going still. Seems to be one of those situations where you pour a lot of effort into getting that first goal and once you can see it again, what left is there in the tank. Payton plays the ball through antenna for Hekimovic. Can't get through. Giannopoulos finds Trev Lewis. Hekimovic plays long. Payton across the box. No one's there. And that's going to be a goal kick. Berlin players appealing for a corner. It looked like a goal kick to me from my angle. We all have different perspectives just as we do in life. And this one has led to a goal kick for Chantilly. Fans still here in pretty large numbers. It's great attendance. Karib can't get past his man. He's had a bit of trouble in this half. In the 1v1 duels, failing to get in the score sheet, unlike the previous game. Although he did score the finishing touch and put the cherry on top of our performance last week against the Kilimanjaro Bandits. Lewis. Vidas plays forward.
A big duel on the far side there. It's gonna go Chantilly's way. They're gonna have another opportunity here for a set piece. Balls in, free header. Ewan claims. Claims of a foul from Ewan going on death ears from the referee. A big challenge. Lewis dispossessed, the crowd is still very much alive here. Vidas caught offside. You went playing long. Hakimovic was the intended striker. Could not get his way. Karib winning an aerial duel. It's a foul. A bit of a call that you could decide on your own if it really was a foul or not. Regardless, we're up to field now. With Chantilly on the ball. Vides plays it off. As we've just gone for the rest, five minutes left. Still time for either team to make some decisive actions in this game. Still more than enough time to score two goals for Chantilly. We've seen it before at the highest of stages, just like last year in the Champions League semifinal between Real Madrid and Manchester City. We've seen moments like the 1999 UCL final between Munich and May United. Could we see another one of those magical comebacks and magical moments here from Chantilly? Early indicators would probably say no, but it's truly anyone's game. They're still down by two. A two goal cushion is no real cushion though if a goal is scored. It is all about moment momentum in this game and it's become quite an open game at this point. Both teams kind of just gaining possession, going up the field. Loose structure. Landon Payton with, with a little bit of a reckless attempt. Probably could have worked the ball in there better. But as I said, the game has opened up. It's become a little bit more free in the middle for players to find that space. The lines are not as tight, the further apart players are running on tired legs. It's just about who wants it more, how badly do you truly want it. And Alex Christie wants it, he has the ball here, Hekimovic on the ball now, fending off. Intruders, they win the ball though. Landon Payton wins the ball back, Giannopoulos once again on it. Looks up, has a shot. Flies over the crossbar. Chantilly getting started here. About three minutes left to play by my calculations. Ball up the field. 
Chantilly players in pursuit. Ball still in, being shielded out. Chantilly desperately trying to keep the ball when they have it. Seems to be a little bit of a luxury at this point for them in the game. Ginopoulos wins the ball back. Bertoli plays out. Karipe. Being bullied by defenders instead of bullying them back. Skips by two of them. Ginopoulos with the ball now. Being tripped. That's going to be a foul for Berlin. And Berlin could put the fastest touches on a nice three points here. If the right ball and the right person can pick it out. Alex Christie on top of this ball. Berlin still committing players forward as if they're looking for goals themselves. Looking to get back in the game themselves. Left foot delivery, back post, put up in the air, kept in bounds here. Payton plays across. Not a horrible delivery. Flores wins the ball, plays out quickly, lets the ball roll, keeps it in. Berlin have numbers back though. Still susceptible to something here on the counter. Ball played in the box. Ewan claims and goes down. What's that? Berlin getting a, maybe a little bit too quick. Cue with the ball in the back. It is a beautiful game, but at this point, Berlin trying to be a little bit too cute with it. Gene Alpus puts a tackle in to no avail. Still fighting for the ball. Karib winning it, being dragged down. That's surely a yellow card. Probably the most obvious yellow card of the game. Being pulled down. Abdullah will surely ask Karib for a shirt after the game. All over him there. Hekomovic has a strike and it's good. Hekomovic's eyes lit up. Just like he lit up the night sky with that shot. Incoming reports from NASA that that ball's now been found on the moon. Chantilly have the ball here. Long ball played in. Some space in behind. Cleared away by Berlin. Time expiring here. The ref has the whistle in his mouth. Seems like time's about to be called. And what's been a great Canadian classical here. One that's ultimately be won by Berlin. And they've won the Canadian classical spring 2023. 3-1. Waving goodbye to Chantilly. And once again, Chantilly forever remain the shadows of FC Berlin. Berlin claiming the three points with three super goals from Nico Giannopoulos. Antonio Hakomovic and Nico Linares. Thank you for tuning in, guys. It's been your host and commentator, Rowan Fissler. Have a good night.